Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be discussing something extraordinarily important, relevant, and critical to our work in anthropology uh, based on some unfortunate news that just came out uh, from UC Berkeley where a professor, Dr. Tim White, who many of us ought to know the many stories about Dr. White, both the good, the bad, and the ugly. And it turns out Dr. White was teaching his osteology courses and other anthropology courses using Berkeley's skeletal collection, which makes sense. However, this collection contained the remains of dozens of indigenous Americans that were procured unethically against what the tribe would want and they were continued to be used. Now one might say, of course, Dr. White didn't know about this. He could have never known, but unfortunately that's not the case. Uh, he himself claimed that there would never be a way to identify if these remains were indigenous, which was false. Uh, that's completely untrue. He also decried that repatriation is something he was not a fan of despite the fact that he was in charge of all the repatriation that was going on from uc berkeley and it's kind of sad to see that the university is only acting now that he's left and gone to spain uh of course nobody's perfect but i think this really highlights and brings into focus that our heroes in anthropology and really in, in anything can't be looked at unfallibly they are human, they make mistakes. Is Tim White a bad guy because of this? I don't know him, I'm not gonna say. I know a lot about him, I've heard a lot of things, and let's just say I don't think I would personally be friends with him. But it, uh, he's a good scientist, just maybe not an ethical one. But does that really make a good scientist? I don't know, I'll have to leave it up to you. There's just a lot about this that's really fishy and doesn't sound right. And I'll link the article that really describes in detail what happened, what is going on, what UC Berkeley is doing, what Tim White's doing right now, and everything that's going on. And you'll really learn a lot, and hopefully you'll see and understand why we can't practice anthropology the way that we have in the past. This unethical approach to anthropology is going to lead to the disruption of our relationships with native tribes, both here in the United States and all over the world. Cultural anthropologists and anyone who's working with native and indigenous peoples needs to understand the importance of ethical anthropology, of working with these people that he, that they are able to contribute what they need to. Now, is Tim White the only hero of anthropology, of paleoanthropology, that has committed something that is perhaps not the best? Of course not. Another great example, and this a lot of this has been brought up by a friend of mine who is also an undergraduate student at Stony Brook. Not, I'm not at Stony Brook. He's at Stony Brook. And uh, his name is Mason, and he brought up these points uh, in our group. And one thing that he highlighted that I've, I've read a few times, and it hit me weird every time I read it, but it didn't really... It, with this coming up, it really highlights the problems that we are seeing in anthropology and paleoanthropology with the way that we treat other cultures and people and how the science is still so infused with racist rhetoric and we need to work on changing this so we can provide a better future, not only for the people that we're helping and studying, but also for ourselves and the science behind it. So what's another good example of something bad that an anthropologist has done that has been widely glossed over and frankly needs to be addressed. And that of course is for anyone who's read Don Johansson, John um, book, Lucy, which of course is his masterpiece writing. On page 158 of Lucy, The Beginnings of Humankind, you can read where Dr. Johansson actually grave robbed a local Afar tribesman grave to procure a leg bone so that he could compare it to the what he hoped and thought was a hominin knee and leg that he found which would later become lucy he literally grave robbed someone he stole a bone a part of a human a modern human body 
out of a grave with no permission, nothing, just so he could compare it. This is absolutely asinine and ridiculous. And to say that, well, we don't act that way today and we're only viewing them that way because they were in the past and to think that we're somehow bigoted in viewing them with criticism is absolutely asinine and ridiculous. People should know now in the past and always that grave robbing is ridiculous and should never be okay. There is a difference between grave robbing and getting the permission of the people to excavate and study and learn from the remains. They are drastically different. A lot of this is highlighted in Jennifer Raff's Origins, um, which describes the peopling of North America. And a lot of it talks about the genetics that's behind discovering who these people were and how they got to where they are. And there's so many things about ethics that are just really important that need to be considered and frankly, if we don't, we're not doing justice to the people, we're not doing justice to ourselves, and we're definitely not doing justice to the science. We're not learning what we should be, we're expressing bad ideology, and frankly, we need to put a cap somewhere on how we look at our heroes in anthropology, because we're all human, they're human, things go wrong. Should we completely ostracize these scientists because of things that they did in the past? Of course not. Everyone learns, grows, and changes. But to hear something like this happening today in the modern age, it's sad and it's disheartening. And to see that the university really only acted after Tim White left is frankly disturbing to me. Uh, that one paleoanthropologist could have held such sway over the entire collection at such a prestigious school, uh, especially when it goes completely against NAGPRA, which was made legal in the 70s, I believe, which means that all indigenous and remains, items, artifacts, and everything thus therein needs to be repatriated based on certain regulations and laws. Now, with Tim White being in charge of those rep reparations at UC Berkeley, he was kind of able to do what he wanted, which is now showing to have been a grave mistake on the university's part. And I only hope that the university is going to make right by the indigenous peoples on whom they have gravely wronged. And hopefully, as the new generation of anthropologists take over, we can learn from the mistakes of our forebears and treat indigenous peoples, their cultures, and their lives with dignity and honor, just as we would expect anyone to do for us. So quick little video on something important that we need to discuss, I think, but I think I hit all the main topics and points. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear and talk to you about them. It's important that we discuss things like this. Uh, so yeah, I think that about does it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.